Can you hold your phone? You're good? Baby, don't be nervous. We are at one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites, one of the oldest seven wonders of the world, at the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. Day two at Giza and Pyramids with my Cairo tours. We found them on TripAdvisor. There's my husband, and there's our amazing guide, and there are the pyramids. Getting his sunscreen on. <laughs> there you go. We are in front of the only remaining one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The Great Pyramid. The one consists of three million blocks. All of them limestone. They brought it. They brought them okay from the local area here. The average weight of each cup 2.5 tons. 2.5 tons. Wow. So 2.5 tons times two three million blocks. So the total weight of the pyramid is. I want to know. Tell me. I'm ready. I want to know. 7.5 million tons. Wow. <laughs> we had the flood season, it was three months a year. Okay, so that's why they choose a higher location to build the pyramid. So, okay, the burial chamber which is inside the Great Pyramid, in my view, this is not the real one. This is not the original one. Now we're gonna go get a view of the three pyramids in line, enjoy our camel rides, and enjoy the Sahara Desert. Very exciting. Ready for a camel ride? Just flip your leg over. Hold you. Hold the wheel and lean back. Let the game begin. Hold the wheel. Don't worry, baby. Scared. No, 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 no. This come on that tiger. This is my current view. We are on our way to go see the Sphinx. The Sphinx is carved out of one giant stone. That's what we were just told. The Sphinx is also known as Shesip Ang. Shesip Ang. means the life image for the king. The Sphinx is the manifestation for the king Khopra. Represented him so okay as a lion's body with a human's head. Museum, 300 Egyptian pounds per person to get in. With this one, we also get to see the real mummies. <laughs> so, this over here is over 19 meters long and it's from the Book of the Dead. So, that in the center is Min Khao Ra. And that's his tomb. Look at the ancient carvings we just spotted on the tomb. We are on our way now to 
to a bazaar where our guide said stuff are gonna be way cheaper than obviously stuff around the touristy areas. This place is so crowded, it's actually reminding me of Kathmandu. Lots of traffic, people everywhere. Traffic rules here, we noticed just like in Nepal, non-existent. <laughs> Lots of similarities. From what we read, like articles, blogs on Egypt, they were like, for women, try to cover your bodies as much as you can, full sleeves, pants, shirts. So that's what I did. Well, I didn't have stuff to cover up, so we ended up buying this dress yesterday. I had to pay $30 for this, but yeah. shared with us is if you like something do not pick it up because if you pick it up you're gonna have to end up buying it whether you like it or not these boxes I got one of these for Patrick when we were in Barcelona and that was from an Egyptian shop but I got him that like the rectangular one but he likes this other guy and he just ended up buying it from him Bye! This is what we ordered for dinner. Here's my vegetable pizza. There's Patrick's chicken. Up a chicken. And we ordered some rice for him, but it came with noodles and he can't eat it. And there's some salad. How is it? Good.